look at track three at the mule shoe project a gorgeous property you can see it here it's about 10 acres in size uh, it actually borders the county road along its entire west side uh, that's county road 525 uh, it goes back to the east for about a quarter mile about 1320 feet um, and approximately 10 acres in size so if we zoom out a little bit we're going to see the mule shoe conservation area that's uh the shaded area here extremely close to the property literally just a few hundred feet down the road from the property you've got the conservation area you've got the the little niangua river which flows up into the lake of the ozarks um, we won't go too into detail on the area because you can see the uh, uh the intro video within the mule shoe project page for that but why don't we look at the property itself this is a wintertime google map so we're not really seeing any leaves on the trees but of course you can check out the drone video to to kind of uh, see more of a, a summertime look here uh, basically all wooded there is a an old existing um, kind of a trail uh, that goes diagonally over the property and if we switch actually it's doing infrared map for that that should show it that shows it really well um, it kind of starts up here by track two and goes diagonally uh, across several of the tracks that, that diagonal road, that is not any kind of, of access easement for anybody. It's just an old trail. Um, so there, there's no one that's going to you know, be crossing over your property on that, on that trail. The, the easement for uh, uh, access and, and utilities is going to be along the west side of the property here. Uh, so, I mean, if you put in a driveway, you potentially could tap into that little trail um, to give you access to the north and south part of your property. Um, but again it's not uh, not any kind of access easement for anybody else to cross over your property as we can see i mean it's basically all wooded other than uh, let's go back to the google map other than um, i guess the little trail and maybe a few small natural openings since this is a wintertime aerial it's pretty easy to to tell the uh, hardwood trees from the cedar and pine trees and in this case it looks like we have kind of a, a cedar grove toward the middle of the property and then on the west side and the east side, those appear to be mostly hardwood trees. Uh, let's go to the topo map. Actually, just for a second here, let's go in on this northeast corner because we, we had that video we took that actually showed um, this little creek bed, and it was flowing when we were back there. And it was We were basically right at the northeast corner of track three. So you can see where that crosses over. And after we go to the topo map, we might even see that a little uh, a little more here. Okay. Well, not really. Um, basically, what this topo is showing us is it's got a level area here toward the west side. Uh, why don't we start at the county road? From the county road itself, it slopes up fairly gradually. Uh, when the lines are close, that means steeper. When they're further apart, that means flatter. Um, and topo maps aren't perfect, but they generally give you a pretty good idea about the area. So. From the county road, for instance, as we go east, it's sloping up fairly gradually for the most part. We get in um, a couple hundred feet and we have the large level area, uh, which extends kind of north and south. Uh, it's, it's part of a ridge. If you zoom out, you can see this is all a big ridge here. Um, and then as we go easterly from that ridge, um, it slopes back down again. And in fact, it's got kind of a little valley going diagonally uh, over the, the east side. Um, and then there's another more, more of a gentle slope downwards and then you've got that little creek bed uh, so as we look at the topo we can see this this valley here and that creek bed in the bottom of that valley is what crosses over the northeast part um, we because we parked uh, on a different tract up here and then we walked up the creek bed uh, but i believe we saw this little valley um, on track three uh, because there was there were a couple other spots where there were smaller creeks feeding into kind of this main creek and so this valley is probably one of those uh, by the way if you're if you're looking for a property that has a potential for you know a, a live spring or maybe a cave uh, this type of a valley uh, that's that's where we find stuff like that um, caves much more rare uh, but still the right topography for a cave um, that we've that we've seen anyway uh, but springs um, we don't know if there's one on this property but uh, this would be the place to check this valley area you'll probably find some cool rock formations there as well 
so actually, as far as level area, this, this has more than, than some of the other tracks out here. Um, track two appears to have the, the larger level area, and that's probably why that, that old home site is on track two. But then track three is nearby as well, and that has um, this, this fairly large level area here toward the west side. Again, kind of shows it's probably sloping up from the county road. Uh, here at the southwest side, it slopes up a little more steeply, and here toward the middle and the the um, the northwest side, it slopes up a little more gradually, uh, from what we can see. And then um, probably an ideal building site, if you wanted a large flat area, would be to get in two or three hundred feet um, to this large flat uh, kind of a ridge type area. So uh, super cool tract, um, extremely close to power. Let's go back to the Google Map. Uh, there's an existing power line running uh, on the south side of this County Road 66 up here. Uh, so that's, that's going to be your closest power, more than likely. The power actually does run into the old home site on track two. Uh, but um, likely, if you were, were to take the power to track three, it would come down this west side um, adjacent to the County Road or set back a little bit from the County Road. But, I mean, either way, you're, you're less than a quarter mile from power. Um, which is which is a good thing if you ever need it. Uh, so yeah, looks like a great tract. Uh, check out the ground video. Check out the drone video. Conservation area extremely close, which is awesome, uh, and just just really a good location. So good sized property. If you have any questions, just let us know.